Hello, it's Marty from Love Inspiration here. Welcome to this next lesson. What I want to do in this lesson is introduce you to something that we refer to as the healing crisis. And I want to talk a little bit more about the idea of purification and healing. The reason for this is that we've so far we've given you a whole heap of meditations and energy-based practices. And each of these practices will help to clear away any stagnant, old, or any unwanted energies from within you. And what happens when this ha what, what, what actually happens when this healing process is going on is that your meditative practice will bring in light. And this light will help to stir up or start to clear away these darker energies or these more dense energies, negative energies. And these energies will need to come out of your energy system. And what is often taught in most energy-based practices is that these negative, old, stagnant energies will need to be re-experienced by you as they're coming to the surface and being released. This happens all the time. That is continually happening in our life. Um, when you have sickness, um, when you have break your leg, when you have any sort of pain or this type of issues, these are all thought to be energetic uh, causes. And this is a really, really um, important concept to understand. And especially as we go into energy-based practices and meditation, it's really important to understand this idea of how energy moves and the, the physical uh, consequences or the physical repercussions of this. So the healing crisis um, actually didn't come, come about um, through energy-based healing. It's actually a, a term that's used when you do detoxing, for example, when you take a whole bunch of herbs or good, fru good fruits and foods, fasting, these kind of things. What happens is the body purges itself of toxins and you'll feel some side effects. Sometimes you'll just feel really sluggish. Sometimes you'll feel sick sickness, maybe some mild flu symptoms. Sometimes you'll have some extra trip, trips to the toilet. Um, these kinds of um, mild sensations are often referred to as a healing crisis. And it just means that your body is purging itself of the bad stuff within you. So as you can maybe realize from this, a healing crisis is not a bad thing at all. It's actually a very good sign of healing very good sign that you're releasing impurities from your system. Now I've explained the healing crisis from a physical perspective. What is it like from an energetic perspective? And it is no different. When you're doing energy-based meditations, you're bringing in energy, you're bringing in light, and you're bringing in love, sometimes in very high doses when you're connecting with many types of frequencies. So just like if you were taking herbs and good fruits and fasting and getting rid of all these toxins, the energies themselves will help to purge your negative energies. This is one of the very positive side effects. So as, as this light coming in, the energies, the darker energies are being stirred and released from your system. And as this process happens, you will feel these energies coming out, just as you would if you were doing physical um, detoxes. So again, you might feel sluggish, you might feel really like chronic fatigue just for a few days. You might feel some, some pain in certain areas of your body. You might feel, you might have some, some trips to the toilet, um, Especially where you have injuries from previous years, you might find that these start to come again. Um, one example of this is I used to have a fibromyalgia in my whole body. And during my healing, many healing crises, um, my purification, sometimes I would have these symptoms come back. So much so that I would sometimes think, oh, my, I'm going backwards. You know, this is a very common thought. You know, I'm having so much pain and I haven't had this pain for three years. I'm going backwards. My practice 
I don't know what's happening. This is always the healing crisis, especially for those people doing intensive meditation. So this is the healing crisis in a nutshell. Um, this is also not different from the idea of purification. Um, and I, I really want to um, bring this very, it's a very clear, clear point here. When you are doing your practice or any type of meditation, spiritual practice, yoga, any of this type of thing, as you are evolving towards light and evolving towards more love, what happens is your dark energies can't live in this environment anymore. The more light there is, you are releasing more darkness. And as you release more darkness, you're actually allowing room for more light. And this is a, a very common idea, it repeats and repeats and repeats. You clear all that space, you bring in more love. As you bring in more love, you release a deeper layer of this darkness. As you release the deeper layer, you make more room for more love, more love. And the process complete, repeats a deeper layer, bringing in more, a deeper layer releasing. So for those people who are practicing with some of these more intensive practices, for example, the Unified Pathway to Light, this is a very, very intense system. brings about a lot of purification very quickly. So you can sometimes feel these negative things going on. And it doesn't have to be just physical. I've said that the symptoms can be physical. But in, in an energetic perspective, they can also be emotional or mental um, and also spiritual. There can be some, some emotional outbursts like anger. There can be a lot of tears. There can be some grief that you need to process if you've had this in this life, some past lives. Many emotions we need to process as well. And as we progress on this pathway, we understand that these are all interrelated with each other. So one last thing I do want to talk about with the idea of purification and bringing in more light and releasing this darkness, which we call the healing crisis, is also the idea that as an energy-based practitioner, as you receive more light, you will often feel more of a darkness within. So a very easy analogy for this is a, a, a think of an apartment. If you have a, an apartment which is quite dirty, not, not untidy, but just dirty, there's dust, there's some, you know, some marks, there's some stains on the wall, these types of things. And in the apartment you have a very uh, dim, dim light, maybe 20 watts, 30 watts. With this light, the apartment looks quite clean. Uh, you, you know, it, it, it looks, it's, it's got nice furniture, it looks reasonably clean, it doesn't look overly dirty. Now what happens in that apartment when you put in a higher strength of light, so maybe 50, 50 watts or 60 watts or 100 watts, suddenly the room is very bright and you can see all of the dirt, all of the dust, all of the stains, and suddenly your apartment looks dirty and, and you can't understand why it was never clean before. And this is precisely what's happening within it. If we're operating at a, a light of factor X and it, we're feeling not so bad, not so bad at all, we're like the apartment, there's dirt and there's dust there, but we don't, we don't feel so bad. Now when we connect to more light and we start bringing in really high frequencies of light, we receive achievements and these are uplifting our energies to higher vibrations and higher light frequencies. Now we can see the dirt, we can feel the dirt within us as it's being released and also as we're raising our vibration more and more. So this is a very natural part of any pathway. And I do want to make this clear because it can be a little bit scary if you don't understand what's going on. Um, I remember in my uh, deep meditation retreats, where there was a lot of things moving, a lot of energy. And um, I was fortunate to, to speak to someone who explained this very concept to me. And 
It was a really, really important thing for me to understand at that time. And um, I was very grateful for that teaching. And I, I do want to share this with you at this stage of the, of the course, because if you are moving through these, you may be now working with multiple practices. So these sensations may be, you might start to feel these within your own energy system. So I hope this helps you to, to bring some peace of mind to your situation, to understand that this is totally normal for any energy-based practitioner, for anyone working with these higher vibrations of energy. It's, um, yeah, very, very normal. So, so please don't be disheartened if you feel a lot of healing crises. Please don't be disheartened if you feel some things, some sensations and some pain within your own body. Um, so I hope this helps. We're going to continue on with these sort of lessons. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about interconnectedness in the next lesson. So I hope you enjoy this for now and you join us for the next lesson when we feel ready to. Thank you very much and thank you.